Hello everyone, Jeremy Martin72 here, and I'm going to show you how to use your Trezor One USB wallet with your Android phone so that you can use your crypto in public. So you're going to want to open up Chrome and go to trezor.io forward slash start and hit the Trezor One image. And it shows you the usual about tamper-proofing the box. We all know how bad it is to get in and that thing. Continue to wallet. And you're going to want to go ahead and plug your wallet in. I know it's a little bit awkward. And then you're going to check for devices, and you'll see where it says Trezor. You're going to highlight it and hit Connect. Allow Chrome to access Trezor. Okay. And you should see uh, set a grid of numbers show up on your USB wallet. So, and yeah, it's a little awkward to mess with it at first, but you get used to it. And you're going to want to type in your PIN. So my PIN is 86753, there's no zero, 9, enter. And the wallet's verifying it, and there you go. Okay, so if you want to see your home page, you go up there. And it shows Trezor One connected device. Here's how you choose what kind of coins you wish to use. And, if, and this is your, the, underneath of it is the name. And it says that it's connected. And the lock is how you, it's an emergency lock. It'll turn off your USB Trezor device. And the arrow that's right next to it will erase all the metadata that is on the Chrome um, mobile browser that you're using. Now underneath of that it says account number 9 and it'll show what kind of crypto you have compared to what kind of fiat currency you are valuing it with. And of course underneath is add another account. We're not even going to mess with that. We ain't got no crypto in any of this stuff. Same thing with add a legacy account. You can go in and, and add a legacy account if somebody's got old school stuff. No need to check for de devices. If you have an issue with, with it, all you have to do is click check for devices and see what's going on. You can go into your wallet settings, and here is how you figure out your uh, or set your fiat currency. If you if you prefer euros, you hit euros. I, I go with US dollars. This is your um, this is your defaults. For your crypto, and, and it defaults to uh, Trezor Wallet Bitcoin, and uh, everything else is uh, if you're if you like development. So uh, we'll go back to menu again, and we're going to hit uh, enable labeling. Now this is uh, it's all cool stuff. I'm going to make a video on this later, but uh, Dropbox is cool. And support center, if you're having problems, you can get in contact with the support center. And if you want to buy crypto, I know that looks like an advertisement, but it's not. Well, not necessarily. And it'll take you to the buy section. And I'm not going to walk you through any of that stuff. I'm not going to mess with no money or no credit cards or anything like that. So we're going to flip back that way. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Do, do, do. Let it reload. Okay. And uh, you can buy via your credit card here, or you can receive. Now, this is how you could receive Bitcoin. Um, you do it by, sh you, you push the show full address, and on your USB wallet, it will show you the full address and you double check it like it says on on the screen it says check address on Trezor and then you, it'll give you an option to pull up a QR code so I'm going to push the QR code button on the USB wallet and it shows me the QR code on the actual USB wallet and then I hit the confirm button 
and it shows up on the phone. Now you hold this underneath of somebody's uh, camera and this is how they take a picture of your address and send you crypto money. All right, so we're going to go back. It's the same thing with, with send as well. I, I'm not even going to go through that because I don't have anything to send with. So Next is you know, buy and sell. It's If you've messed around with the... Um, with the full size, uh, with the desktop version of the website, it's basically the same thing, except it's it's smaller. So, and I'm going to go ahead and continue on that. Uh, and you can go to the exchange if you want to, and you can do sign and verify as well. And at the bottom is the usual. It's got the Satoshi Labs that you can go to and check out all their stuff. Uh, the terms of service goes to a PDF. The wallet settings, now, uh, we've already been in the wallet settings. Mm-mm. Uh-oh. Come on. All right, there you go. All right, so we've done wallet settings. Now, show log. you got to be careful with show log, and it's because it's going to show you your public keys, and anybody who has the XPubs are able to track what your um, transactions are. So just be careful with show log in public. Uh, you know, make sure nobody's looking over your uh, shoulder. Uh, Coin Gecko will be your exchange. I have not done any uh, transactions through Coin Gecko, but I really like the way their system looks in here. Looks really nice. And of course, they're given um, they're given credit for contributors. And. You can change where it says English up here in the top. You can change what language you wish. Now, with uh, Bitcoin here, you can check. Uh, somebody wants to give you some dash. So you hit dash, and you got to give it a couple of minutes or seconds, depending on how good your connection is. And then you hit receive, and then you hit show full address. And you will be prompted on your Trezor USB wallet to check the address, pick the QR code. The QR code is now on my USB wallet. Now I'm going to confirm it, and I send it to my my uh, phone. And now he takes he or she takes a picture of the QR code and sends you what you want. Same thing with the rest of it. Now, let's see what it does with Ethereum. Da -da, Ethereum. Yes, yeah, just like the full desktop version, you will need a Ethereum wallet because Ethereum uh, has all these um, contracts and smart contracts and tokens and all that other stuff. So you will not be able to do straight Ethereum through the Trezor one on Chrome Mobile. And that should be it, my brothers and sisters. I am very impressed with the Trezor one USB mobile wallet. And I highly suggest getting it. Uh, and be safe. Don't let nobody steal your crypto money. And Google on.